Hey everyone, Dr. Denise Start here. Um, I wanted to do a video this morning about something that is pretty heavy on my heart. Um, watching the news over the last week in particular with um, the abuses of power over women in Hollywood and how distressing this is and that even women who might from the outside looking in appear to have it all. Um, beauty, fame, connections, um, money, um, a successful career. Even despite those things, this climate of silence, of being afraid to come forward, or of thinking if you do come forward, how will your message be received? Those of you who have been watching my videos and who are drawn to the information in my videos, I have a feeling um, there's a voice in you that says, oh yeah, this is a huge problem. And how about the problem that goes on in home after home after home up to 30% of people experience emotional abuse in their homes. And just like Harvey Weinstein goes out and he's smiling and waving and donating and, you know, Mr. Power in Hollywood, his public face was so different than the face that was seen by these women behind the scenes. Horrors that went on unaddressed for so long. Similar to the emotional abuser within the home, whether it's a male abuser or a female abuser, really is irrelevant. When a person feels entitled to power over another human being, to convince them that what they believe in is wrong, to convince them that they are unworthy, to lie to them, to deceive them, to cause them to question their own sense of reality. Um, these things that happen in homes every single day and women like you and like myself even at one time that wasn't quite sure about how to put the words to it so that people would know what you're talking about. I can only imagine that these women in Hollywood thought, who's going to believe me? This is Harvey Weinstein. Same way that people who are being emotionally abused with this narcissistic abuser in their home can't find the words. And when you do try to find the words, friends and families might say, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> This is such a great person because what's seen in public is so different than what's seen at home. So as I have watched the news this week and thought about how terrible this is for the women who were victimized by him and by men like him, I want to say to you that it has been heavy on my heart all week that I know what you are going through, the horrors that go on at home that make you feel less as a person, that make you question your value as a person, that make you struggle to find the words to help people understand what you're going through, that watching this in the news, seeing people in positions of power who have narcissistic personalities, seeing them use the very tactics that your emotional abuser uses against you daily in your home, and what a trauma it is for you, a trigger for that trauma to see this play out on the news day in and day out. What I want you to know is that I understand and there are a growing number of people who are talking about this type of abuse and the fact that it is so secretive, so taboo, so quiet, and so difficult for people who are being victimized by this. So just wanted to express that to you today. When your trauma is triggered by this or by other things, think about you validating you. Be kind to yourself. 
pay attention to the voice that you use to talk to yourself and soften that voice, make it kind. Take good care of yourself. Stay connected, educate yourself, learn more, get support from other people going through this type of abuse who have survived and thrived and moved to the other side. And I'm here to tell you as a survivor of this that there is great joy on the other side, that there are wonderful people out there um, who can love you in a healthy way. And don't let this person tell you otherwise.